forum this year is, is sort of the theme is globalization 4.0. There are a lot of questions about a lot of values and about democracy and so on and so forth, but also about globalization, what that means. When you say, my country first, that has consequences in terms of trade, in terms of where people put yeah, their so uh, uh, operations, etc. That is a short-term issue, which is a very serious issue. I think there's a longer-term issue that is being less discussed, and that is in China right now, the way AI is applied and machine learning is applied is almost breathtaking. Now, China has almost 1.4 billion people. They're all, almost all, I mean, much more than, than almost any other place, constantly on their phones. And the kind of super apps that I mentioned earlier are collecting, managing, putting together data. It's as close as you can imagine a segment of one. And it takes information from all aspects of your life. And in China, you can do that. In the West, you can't quite do it in that same way. It takes information from all aspects of your life, from everything that you do online, everything you do offline. They're shopping offline. It's all captured in the same way. It all comes together and, uh, and allows you to have interesting services, to have a different shopping experience, to pay your bills to the government on uh, WeChat. Uh, and so they're actually advancing very fast. The West, there are two things that have happened. One, there are really privacy issues which people are discussing but haven't quite been resolved, but I'm not sure everybody will be willing to share that amount of data. In fact, China is beginning to export those technologies. So there are companies that have those technologies and they're beginning to export it to countries that, uh, that where they make it affordable, they can afford to get it. And so you can, you can begin to think about how there could be, um, I think some people have talked about splinternet as opposed to internet, <clears throat> sort of the Chinese way, if you will, in some other countries, versus the way, at least for now, the West is doing it. And uh, it's gonna be hard to catch up to the abilities that China is uh, developing in this uh, aspect because we have some issues that we haven't uh, resolved, there's issues of governance of those companies, and that is the way we've developed. So it would be difficult even under any other condition. But that is food for thought when you think about globalization 4.0.